so the lead code problem we are going to solve now is called happy number now we can see that this one is an easy problem and also an extremely well like problem the statement is quite quite straightforward we need to write an algorithm to determine that if the given number n is a happy number or not and we are given the conditions that how can we define a number to be happy now it is quite straightforward that starting with any positive integer n we need to replace the given number by the sum of the squares of its digits so let's say that we are given a digit like 16 right if n is equal to 16 in this case we need to replace n with the square of its digits so current digits are 1 and 6 so we need to do 1 square plus 6 square so this is going to become 37 and then once again we will need to do the same thing for the 37 as well where we would do 3 square plus 7 square so this is going to be 9 plus 49 so i think it's 58 and yeah so so on and so forth we would keep on repeating this now we need to repeat this until either the number equals 1 where it would stay as it is or it would loop endlessly in a cycle which does not include 1 so either we need to keep on doing this process until this becomes one or until we find out that there is actually a cycle that is happening and there are only two possibilities either it could be a cycle or it could be one now for those numbers when which process this ends in which ends in one are defined happy so we need to return true for them and uh, all the other ones we need to return false okay so let's try to understand how we are going to solve this problem by an example suppose the given number n is equal to 19 right so in this case the square is going to be 1 square plus 9 square so basically 81 plus 1 so 82 once again for 82 so it's going to be 64 plus 4 so 68 now for 68 so total is going to be 100 now for 100 it's going to be 1 square plus 0 square plus 0 square so basically this is going to become uh, the value is 1 so because we find value to be 1 we can define 19 to be a happy number and in this case we can return true now let's take one more example suppose the given n is equal to 2 this is going to be the full sequence and this is the full math behind it so you can notice that i have marked all the values defined as circles and if you want you can just pause the video at this moment and notice the numbers but overall notice that we start at 2 and at some point we end up at 2 as well and if we keep going forward then next value would be 4 and so on and so forth so we would be in in an infinite loop so in this case we can define the given number n is not a happy number so we can return this as false so this is the ask of the problem now let's try to see the solution now for this solution brute force basically doesn't make that much sense because it's very quite straightforward we only need to take care of that whether n yields in value 1 or if n yields in a cycle now we know whether if n yields in value 1 or not that is quite straightforward and easy to understand we can keep on uh, we can have a method that basically get the square of the sum of given values and basically uh, for the given value we keep on repeating the process for given n where let's say the if the n value is going to be 55 first we do a modulo by 10 so we get the last digit that is going to be 5 then we do it square and add it uh, to the sum then once again we do the we divide n by 5 so the remaining value is going to be 50 because this is going to be integer and then once again we do it modulo by uh, 10 so basically we would get value as 5 and then we will just do the square of it so this is going to be the full logic on how we will proceed with getting the square of the sum it's quite easy to implement and we would see that in the code now if we have to detect cycle all we need to do is to keep track of all the n values that we have generated so far and we will have to find a mechanism to quickly access that so for every single new value of n that comes in we would know that whether we have already visited this value or not and for that best way is to move forward by using a hash set so the idea is that we would have a hash set that would keep store of all the different unique n values that we have found so far and there can be two scenarios whenever a new value of n is being found out either it could already be existed value of n and which means we found a loop so we, we can check that using hash set in big of one time or the given value of n could be one 
if either of this cases happen then we simply get out of the loop and we return whatever the subsequent value of n we found so that's quite straightforward now if we see time and space complexity in this case time complexity is going to be big o of n because we are simply iterating over given input n once now space complexity is also going to be big o of n because we are using this additional hash set to calculate all the possible values of n but overall this is a decent solution and a very easy problem so now let's quickly see the coding solution in this case so the coding solution is actually quite straightforward first of all we are going to initialize a variable called scene numbers and this is going to be a hash set that we are going to be using to keep track of all the numbers we have visited to make sure are we in a cycle or not then we are simply going to have a while loop where we are checking that while the given n is not equal to 1 and the current number is not present in the uh, hash set of scene numbers that we have seen if that is the case first of all we are going to add the new unique entry to the scene numbers hash set and then we are going to have a helper method called get sum of squares and pass in the value n now let's understand this uh, method the helper method this is simply going to return an integer value uh, and we are checking that current sum is equal to 0 now while the given n is greater than 0 we are going to start breaking the given value n based on digit by digit by doing a modulo of 10 and we are going to add the square of that particular digit uh, and add it to the existing sum and then we are going to divide the current n by value 10 and notice because n is integer so all the fractional values would be eliminated and we are only dealing with raw integers now in the end we simply need to return the sum pick, uh, once we are getting out of the loop and then based on this sum value we would populate our n and keep on repeating the process now the moment we get out of the loop there can only be two conditions either the given n is equal to one or we found a scenario where the number was already present in the scene numbers so in either case we need we simply need to determine that whether if the n is equal to 1 we can return true if n is equal is not equal to 1 we can return false and this would be our boolean response so let's try to run our code seems like the solution is working beautifully let's submit this code and our code beats a lot of other solutions which is pretty good now we could do some work in terms of space complexity now because we are using an additional hash set uh, we are not the best in terms of space complexity but there can be ways to improve upon them let me know in the comments if you want to see the improved solution and maybe i can put it in the github repository meanwhile this solution is present in our github repository so you can go ahead and check it out from there thank you